starting for the first 12 minutes of action, this was the chase. Two squads na kailangan, kailangan ang panalo. Terrence Romeo going cross court to Stanley Pringle. What a start para dito sa Global Court. They scored the first eight points. Well, bumuluso ka agad ang Global Court. No? Para na kaya na yung defense and defense na nila. Hindi masyadong masigla. And they gave up 31 points to Global Court in the first quarter. And that's certainly not par for the course para sa NLX, no? Their average giving up is only 92 points. 31-25 na yung score. No points sa pagpatapos ng first quarter. But then, Garbo Lamete happens. And the Pringle trying to do all he can to battle the spectacular performance of Lanete. Si Romeo joining the scoring party din naman. At uh, nakapagbaon pa rin sila ng walang punto sa kalamangan. Si Glover medyo na foul trouble ng second quarter. Halos hindi nga naglaro. But yes, they were still ahead by eight. So we saw a lot of dramatic changes in style ng laro ng Enlex. Walker, of course, he was there. But the matter of the hour para sa Enlex in third period, hindi siya pinakakita na duro. Is this guy, the guy with the new hairstyle, si Asi Dirk Nowinski, Tau Lava. Nine of his 11 yeah. points in that third quarter binuhos ni Dorak. Double-double yun, ha, nung matapos ang laro nito. Walker once again, moving that leather around. Lanete, this time attacking the defense of Romeo. It was all about Gabo, it was all about Hasi, it was all about Walker, and Endlegs took control of this game in the second half. That's right, Gabo Lanete has 11 out of his 25 points in the fourth period. But nandung pa rin si Henry Walker, nandung pa rin si Enrico Villanueva. And Sean Anthony with a hustle all, all game long made it possible, made that big victory possible. Team effort.